and welcome to Hard Science, the show where we use just a little bit of knowledge about the world to bend it to our whim. I'm Anthony. I'm Tara. Tara, have you ever been to one of those bars where yes. you order a drink? <laughs> have you ever been to one of the ones though where you order a drink and a dude in suspenders takes seven hours to make it for you? Of course, we live in San Francisco. Right, well I was thinking there has got to be a faster way, maybe even the fastest way to get a fancy cocktail made for ourselves. I'll bet you that there is. Today we're gonna be making alcohol infusions. It's really simple. You just take whatever ingredient you want the flavor from and soak it in alcohol. Leave it for a couple weeks and it will eventually absorb all of the flavors of the ingredients that you put in there. This should be good, right? Raspberry and almond go well together. Sure. The problem with alcohol infusions is that they normally take anywhere from a few hours to a few weeks. And we ain't got that kind of time. So we're gonna use nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide, which you might know as laughing gas, is a colorless, non-flammable gas that has a slightly sweet odor and taste. Today we're gonna be using whipped cream dispensers to achieve what we would get from a regular infusion in about two weeks, except we're gonna be doing it today in two minutes. The pressure inside the whipping siphon is about five times the pressure of Earth's atmosphere, and that pressure means that you can push more of the nitrous oxide into the ingredients. Pressure weirds me out. So we're gonna let this hang out for a little bit, do a little shaky shake. It's okay, just like 50 more seconds of this. And when all that pressure is suddenly released, it makes all the nitrous oxide exit the material really quickly, and it bubbles around and agitates everything on a microscopic level. It's quite pulpy, shall we? Oh wow, that's real good. Okay, something a little different. We're gonna yes. use uh, an eggnog in this one. So because the eggnog has fat, the idea is that these bubbles of nitrous oxide are gonna get caught in between the fat layers. They're gonna expand and it's gonna get real foamy. Oh, look at that, it's so foamy! That is good foam. It's the best foam I've ever had. Okay, so we've got some cooked bacon, mm -hmm. extra hot slab style thin cut beef jerky, and we're using whiskey for this. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do kind of like a, uh, a reverse infusion. Yes. Instead of putting pressure in, we are going to vacuum it out and see what happens. An industrial vacuum pump. Yeah. Here, here we've got the makings of a Sazerac. And we are going to put all this stuff into there and hopefully it will soak into the apple, which have paper clips in them again to weigh them down. You ready? Ready. Now, as soon as we turn this on, you can see it starts to bubble. Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna begin to boil. But it's not hot. No. It's literally just the air pressure that's causing that. Yeah, there we go. The apples should look significantly more transparent, translucent yep. than they did, and they do. There you go. That's a nice Sazerac soaked apple. Yeah, that's good. This is my favorite one so far. So right here, we have a bunch of Serrano peppers. Peppercorns? No, thank you. Tapatio sauce? Just pours free, huh? Yeah, coming out very slowly, probably because it's not meant to be consumed in gross quantities. Okay, you know what? It's just, just for good measure, some candy to sweeten the whole thing up. We need alcohol. Get this party started. Mm. You ready, partner? No. Three? Two, one, imbibe! I can't believe you just did that entire shot. Holy God. Oh, 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 oh no! Quick, someone fetch us some milk! Ah. Ooh, that's good gin. So if there's something that you guys wanna see us do, by all means, let us know in the comments. You can also hit us up on Twitter at twitter.com slash hard science show. How you doing over there, buddy? My good? vision is a little fuzzy. Really? You drink a lot more I than I do. I feel great. I could run a marathon right now. You have to stick not just your pinky, but your pinky and your ring finger out when you drink from cups this tiny. Well, yeah, and also it's a lighter drink. Yeah. Because the foam. So three, even, sometimes. Yeah. 